You are as powerful as you say you are, simply put. channel so as you can tell today we are going to be doing like a new year themed why did I do that that it is a new year why am I we're gonna be doing a bit of like mindset talk mentality all that kind of thing to be able to just make this year a whole lot better than 2020 was because listen it's no secret that 2020 was a was a bit of a sticky one it was a bit sticky so um, I've come up with a few things which um, I know that I'm going to be implementing in the new year So I was like, well, let me just like make a video about like a few things that you can do to go into the year with the right kind of mindset Especially after the difficult year that we've all had together Okay, I'm gonna try and get as straight to the point as possible in these just keep it short snappy and easy to follow Okay, simply put having a positive mindset okay so 2020 was just an absolute myth it handed us challenges that we really didn't anticipate coming um it was such a climax for the year with it being a new decade and then it just felt like it fell flat um and just created way more shit than it did do good like when you first look at it that's that's naturally the impression that you're going to feel after living what we've lived through this year so as simple as it may sound, I think going into the new year with a positive mindset is a lot harder than it normally would be given what we've just experienced. And because of that, it makes it even more important and it's even harder to actually be able to do. So it's no secret that after the year that we've had, being negative is so much easier. In To be honest, in general, being negative is a lot easier than finding the positive in a situation which isn't obviously positive. But that's what makes it that much more powerful and that much more rewarding when we do actually implement it. So obviously, because it is way easier said than done, I'm just going to put it out there, yeah? All this stuff that I'm mentioning, a lot of it is way easier said than done. Um, so I don't want you to think, like, it's like this little, like, list that you just need to, like, tick off, whatever, like, simple. It's not, but it's not meant to be because... For it to be the kind of year that you want to make it, it's not going to be simple. Like, that's just it, that's just what it is. Like, to get what you want to get out of something, it's never going to be the easy option. But the whole point is, like, knowing how to navigate that and knowing how to, like, get yourself through that. So, a way that um, I am actually going to be doing, I've thought of this through, like, thoughts about this have popped into my head, but I'm going to make it, like, systematic. So, I'm pre-recording this um, a couple weeks in advance, so I'm not sure if I've already done it by now, but I'm going to be making a list, and this is something that I think is going to be really helpful, and I would recommend you guys to do as well, to be able to try and get yourself into the right mindset for the new year. Make a list of everything in 2020 that personally went wrong for you. Like, when you look at it straight, like, every bad... I'm gonna say bad thing because you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. Every bad thing that happened to you in 2020, anything that was immediately seemingly negative, I want you to write it down. And it doesn't have to be as generic as a pandemic. Obviously, I'm sure that will make everyone's lists, but like things that specifically happened to you this year, which were just far from ideal. And then Afterwards, I want you to write a way that a positive came out of that particular thing. So for each negative that you write, I want you to write a positive that came out of it which you wouldn't have achieved if you didn't have that negative. And it doesn't matter how big or small that positive is. The point is, it's a positive. You want to take every negative thing that is facing you and you want to see the silver lining. You want to look at what the positive thing that came out of that is. Because I can guarantee you, there will be something. You might need to dig a little bit to find it. You might need to allow your mind to go into places that you didn't want it to, to try and find that positive thing. Because a lot of the time when you see a negative thing, if someone tells you some good would have come from that, your immediate response is going to be, are you mad? Are you dumb? What positive thing could have come from that? Are you trying to like, what, what is wrong with you? How can you see a positive in that? But there actually will be one. There will be. It, you're just not looking in the right place if you've not found it. Like, there is definitely going to be one. But sometimes it's difficult to allow yourself to see that positive because it's so easy to get hung up on that negative thing that your mind doesn't allow you to see the positive thing. But there will be one. So write it down categorically. You can do it in, like, a table, yeah? So you can literally write a column of all the shit and then a column of all the good that came out of the shit and there will be things to write so an example of that could be okay so 
we went through a pandemic, we were in lockdowns, right? So through the process of being in a lockdown, it's an obvious negative in the sense of you cannot live your life how you want to. You don't have any control over how you want to live your life, but it forces you to be alone with your thoughts, forces you to face things that you wouldn't have wanted to face before. And I feel like this is something which is generic and could be applied to so many people. I know this 100% applies to me. So the idea of creating this list and creating those columns is the fact that you are then taking something which you've already experienced. You're taking a year which was clearly just in one overall curved ball and you're taking it and you're turning it into a positive. That puts you in the right mindset for how to tackle a new year because you are looking, you're taking the positives out of something which is seemingly so negative that automatically is going to start getting your mind working in the right way trying to see like the glass is half full rather than half empty because everything is about perspective absolutely everything is your perspective to it it's not the actual event it's how you're viewing it it's how you're seeing it it's how you react to it and it's how you deal with it so this is literally no different so if you take something like 2020 and you change you adjust your perspective to see it positively then you're already kind of exercising that correct mindset before you enter a whole new chapter a whole new phase like 2020 has been hard it has been difficult it's universal yeah it's general consensus out here it has been difficult it's been hard and there's no point trying to sugarcoat that there's no point trying to hide the negatives because they are there and in general it's so important to acknowledge and understand everything so if you feel a negative emotion acknowledge it feel it don't like push it away don't feel like no no no. but i need to be positive i need to be positive i can't think like that you need to accept it if you feel that way let yourself feel it but then you need to flip it so acknowledge that you feel that way and then try and change your perspective don't pretend like you never felt that way in the first place you need to be honest and real with your emotions because otherwise you're not going to be able to genuinely and authentically switch up your mindset and your perspective so I'm going to throw in a few generic overall positives in terms of 2020, which I feel are things that can be applicable to most people. I feel like this year has been a year which has given us all so much self-growth and self-discovery. So I'll give you an example. With myself, this is something that I didn't, I didn't actually realise was something that I was doing or something that was kind of a unhealthy coping mechanism. I didn't realise I was doing it until I was faced with um, the lockdowns, to be honest. And that is that whenever I was dealing with something in life that was not going my way, if ever I was unhappy about something, I was feeling emotional in a negative way about anything, whenever I felt like I was faced with a struggle, I noticed that I tended to distract myself that was what i always and i feel like it's something that everyone says to you a lot when you're going through something keep self distracted stay distracted and yeah that's good to an extent but you need to actually face it and deal with it and i noticed that i was one of them people that i was constantly trying to find a place to be a, like something to do like i was trying to always be out like just to see a friend for dinner, whatever, like it doesn't matter, but I just wanted to like be out all the time. Like I wanted to just be out of the house and I would say it's for my mind, it's for my, it's like for my sanity, I need to be out, I need to, I need to be out. And it got to the point where I would need to make sure that I was booking in things for like a good few days in the week. It was expensive, it was tiring, like a lot of the time it wasn't necessarily because I actually wanted to go out, but I felt like I needed to go out, like I needed to. And if that plan fell through, or if something wasn't able to happen, it would actually like get me more than just like, more than more than it should it would it would affect me more than it should because i was so reliant on it it wasn't like a fun little thing that was you know going to be enjoyable it was like i was dependent on it and i only realized that when it was taken away from me and then i had to find another way to to cope with it i needed to find a healthier coping mechanism i had to acknowledge it i had to train my mind to be able to deal with it and overcome it manually and that is so much harder but oh my gosh the power that you feel the strength that you feel Honestly, I have not done anything social for um, over two months now since um, before lockdown two um, for reasons like having to like kind of look out for family members, etc, which I'm not going to go into. But I have literally just been doing work home, work home, home, more work, home, work, home, work. L literally, it's been work. And I do not feel like I've completely lost it as much as I would have. Like, I've not felt like I have needed 
to have a motive or something for my sanity because I was forced to deal with it and it actually taught me so much about myself which I didn't realise and honestly that's just one thing, that's one example of a way that I feel like I have grown and strengthened in character as a person throughout this time, there's so many but that's just an example to kind of help you see it in that way and now for instance when we're no longer in this scenario which will happen because this is temporary, when this is behind us when I'm dealing with something, if I'm dealing with something, yes, I can go out, I can do that, but I'm not going to be so dependent on it. And I'll know that I am in control of sorting it out. If I need to deal with it myself, I can. I don't need to rely on being out or emotive or anything. I can, I can sort it out myself. And I've got confidence in that and I know I'm able to do that. And that's not something I could have confidently said, like, a year ago. So my point is, 2020 was a struggle, but we grew stronger, we had so much self-discovery, self-growth, we were faced with things that we really didn't want to be faced with and we had to deal with it head on. There was no hiding from anything and I feel like that is something that a lot of us really, really needed. I know that I definitely did. A lot of people came like head on with their mental health and yes, that might seemingly be such a hardship and such a difficulty and I'm not undermining that whatsoever. I am one of those people that was faced with it head on when I thought that I had dealt with it but it just meant that I had to learn how to train my mind to strengthen to be able to tackle this new obstacle that I was faced with. And if this year hadn't happened the way it had, I wouldn't have had to deal with it in such a head-on way, in such a um, forceful, direct way. I would have been able to kind of let it go for longer and maybe not have even properly addressed it or sorted it out or worked a way around it. But I was forced to this year and now that's a skill that I've learned. That is strength that I have now developed and now I'm taking that forward with me. I feel like this year I have learned so much about myself. I have strengthened in character more than I can say I ever have in a time period before and I don't think that that's uncommon. I think that if you really let yourself look back at the year and reflect at all the things that happened to you and what you've taken away from it, I'm pretty sure you will be able to agree with me and say that you feel the same about yourselves too. I know I went on a little bit with that point but that is kind of like the main umbrella term which I really didn't want to sort of rush talking about because I feel like it's such a crucial one because overall that is what we are trying to do for the new year you just want to shift your perspective so that you're going to be more positive about things that are kind of thrown your way that you just don't have control over and it is possible so I challenge you to start shifting your perspective now so that you're ready for the new year okay the next thing for 2021 is go easy on yourself you know what yeah we we literally lived through a pandemic and we are still going like the the virus isn't gone yeah like it's not like, well, we know, <laughs> tier four. Um, but like, it's not gone. It may be a new year. And I know that everyone is really like looking forward to the new year, um, as am I. And it's great because I think we need that kind of like pick me up, that optimism. But at the same time, we have to remember to stay safe and stay sensible because it's not gone anywhere. And I don't just mean physical health in terms of the virus. I also mean like, look after yourself in your mind. Like I feel like whenever it comes to a new year, people put a lot of pressure on themselves to be like, okay, new year, fresh start. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And it's like, you expect just from the strike of midnight, you expect to then be a whole new person with whole new habits and get rid of everything negative that you don't like about yourself or that you do or, anything that needs improving, it's like overnight it's supposed to happen. And I feel like after the year that we've had, we need to be nicer to ourselves and more patient with ourselves because we've been through a lot and we're still going through a lot. So we're still gonna face difficulties to do with everything that has happened in 2020. It's gonna have some form of knock-on effect. So we just kinda need to be patient with ourselves. So just look after your physical and mental health. Okay, the next one is write down everything that you are going to achieve in 2021. I'm not talking about like new year resolutions. I'm saying set yourself goals, what you are going to achieve. Don't say like, I'm going to try and do this. Like say it, like affirm it. Like you're going to achieve this. So say it straight. Like in 2021, I am going to and then things that are in your control that you are going to achieve. Think about how you're gonna control your life, how you're gonna control your year, and literally list it, like just physically write it out. I know I talk about this all the time and I'm not gonna go into it too much because I'm gonna do a specific video about it, but law of attraction is so, so applicable in this example. 
You are as powerful as you say you are, simply put. You are in control of your life as much as you allow yourself and believe that you are in control of your life. So you need to start acting that way. Literally write down, I am going to achieve and that's it, you're gonna do it. Believe that you're worthy of it, manifest. If you don't know about manifesting, whoo, listen, I'ma put you on. If you wanna see a video about manifestation and law of attraction in more detail, then let me know down below because I will definitely go into so much detail because I'm very, very into that and I feel like I did have a spiritual awakening this year and I'm a lot more clued up in that field compared to what I was before. So um, I could definitely talk a lot about that. So if it's something that you're interested in, just let me know and I would love to talk about it. I'm also just kind of like linking to that point, gonna put out there, if you haven't already watch the secret the documentary on netflix there's the film and there's also the documentary if you don't know about it if you don't know what the secret is or even if you do and you've not watched the documentary oh my days watch it it will change your life no cap it will change your life no cap okay the next one is something that i'm actually really really excited to do um myself like really excited um and it is to write a list of, oh my god, these are all making lists. I'm literally setting homework out here. Make a list of all of the things about yourself which you personally identify as your weaknesses or your flaws. I feel like after the year that we've had, which has been very filled of self-realization, I feel like it has highlighted a lot of my weaknesses and flaws and things that I would like to work on. Um, I feel like it's made it clearer in my mind. I can see them more distinctly and I can identify when I'm doing them or when I'm not doing them. Um, so what I'm gonna do personally is I'm gonna make a list of all those things which I think are my weaknesses and I'm going to keep referring to it and remember that list throughout the year and I'm gonna actively, actively is the key word here, actively and consciously work towards switching them up and turning them weaknesses and flaws into things which are now my strengths. I'm gonna switch it up completely, I'm gonna work on them and I'm gonna basically like eliminate them and allow that quality which was my downfall to be my strength. Again, that's another positive that can have come from 2020. Like, I didn't distinctly see what my flaws were or the things that I wasn't so happy about within myself, which I am in control of changing. But it was this year, like, allowed me to see it so much clearer because I was alone with myself for so much more. I kind of noticed my habits and I noticed the unhealthy habits that I want to target. So I would encourage you to also make that list and slowly start to work your way through them. Don't be so harsh on yourself again, but it's just good to be aware of them. And when you have it literally written down in front of you, I feel like it's a lot easier to actively try and target them. So that is another thing which I think will really help us to develop ourselves. And that will mean that we're going into the year stronger. Like we are carrying out this year being the best people that we can be and actively trying to work on ourselves. Because like, when does that ever stop? Like for the rest of your life, you're continuously gonna try and improve yourself. And this is just an example of a way that you can start doing that. Okay, another thing is, a mindset trick or habit um, which I think that it is very useful to start implementing when something doesn't go right. So as well as you know writing down the negative and trying to find the positive in the situation or the scenario whatever you're faced with, another thing is also in the moment when you feel like something is not going your way, stop, pause, Take a deep breath and exercise gratitude. Gratitude is so, so powerful and I think it is very, very underrated. You can literally find gratitude regardless of what your situation is. It's about being willing to see it. And I feel like when something doesn't go your way, it's so easy to get hung up on that one thing and be like, I wanted this, I was trying to do this. Why has it not worked? Why has it da 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 da? And you get so hung up on that and you lower your vibration and you start getting consumed by that concept. And you don't actually stop and appreciate everything that has gone right for you and everything that is going well. And I know that's kind of annoying when people say, oh, I appreciate what you have. I, I know it's actually really annoying, but honestly, when you exercise it and apply it in the right way, that can be an absolute game changer for your mindset and the way that you think about everything. Like when one thing doesn't go right, it's so easy to stop and, 
allow that one negative thing to just spread and take over every other concept or thing that's going on in your life. I'm gonna give you an example, yeah? How many posts and memes and stuff did you see when we were first kind of faced with the pandemic, when we first went into the lockdown? I think it was kind of like around the time when it was like, oh, summer's gonna be canceled, summer's not gonna be normal, blah, 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 blah. I feel like it was around that time when all the posts started appearing like, nah, 2020 is a write-off. Nah, allow 2020, like 2020 is like, it was a dead year, like it just messed up so much. And then everyone kind of got into that mindset of 2020 is just, has just ruined everything. It's all bad. There's no good, like there's no coming around. There's no turning around from this year. Like it's not possible. But then you have literally like anticipated the ruining of every month that was left in the year and we still had so many months left like in that time so much can be achieved like you can do so much you can genuinely achieve so much even with the situation we're in you can still create so many positives from whatever you're faced with but it's it's about wanting to do that so my point is if you feel defeated in the new year or just in general from this point on if you feel like something doesn't go your way don't allow that one sour thing to spread and corrupt everything else that's surrounding it don't think right well that's ruined my day that's ruined my week that's ruined my month that's ruined my 2021 you know what 2021 is a write-off too because guaranteed if one thing starts to go wrong you will start seeing everyone start to jump on that mentality of you know what nah 2021 we thought it was going to be better than 2020 nah like imagine how like what kind of fools are we to think that this year was going to be better like it's the same but it's not it's what you allow it to be right so when you feel like you're defeated by something stop allow yourself to feel it because come on like we're all gonna feel it we're gonna we've, we've been fixated on that thing yeah so allow yourself to be like oh, this hasn't gone my way feel it acknowledge it understand it that's fine but then give yourself that allocated time to be down about it and then switch the perspective because you cannot dwell in that because it will literally taint everything else from that point on allow it to be an isolated incident an isolated event just stop and appreciate we're like do you know what though do you know what look how much i have look how much has gone right how many things have i put myself towards or put my mind to or whatever which has gone right which i have achieved but i'm focusing on this one thing it allows yourself to just bring yourself into the current the current moment of gratitude and being present in where you are right now and just feeling gratitude for everything that you have right in front of you so as well as gratitude that helps you to kind of practice being present and mindfulness and living in the present moment and not getting so taken up in the future or the past or whatever and we're all guilty of it i'm guilty of it too like we all do it all the time that's why it's so important to consciously try not to do it because we naturally all do it okay next one let go of anything that is not adding value to your life if it's not adding value it is quite literally taking away from your life so i'm talking only surround yourself with positive people positive energies positive situations positive events if it's negative let it go let it go if it's something that's in your control and you've identified that thing that person that event whatever as negative remove yourself from it as quickly and efficiently as possible surround yourself with only things which are going to add value which are going to empower you which are going to motivate you which are going to literally like enhance you if it's not enhancing you it's actually a waste of your time and your energy so it is genuinely removing goodness from you if you think like okay well it's not like it's not adding value but it's also not taking away it is taking away because it's occupying your mental energy your physical energy whatever it is it's still in your space and if it's not adding value then it is taking away because with that time with that energy you could be putting it towards something or someone which is adding value so by keeping it around you're literally removing good vibes from you okay guys that is the end of this video i'm sorry i know that i really i i find it so hard to stick to a structure with these kind of videos because I just go, I just, I just, my mind just, it just keeps, <laughs> honestly, like I have points and then I go on tangents. Anyway, editing this is going to be an absolute nightmare to try and like remove some of my waffling, but I hope that it was a useful waffle anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support and the love that you guys have given me this year. This year has been incredible for my career growth with you guys um, and over on Instagram. It has been, um, 
honestly incredible in that sense um, and that is all because of you guys so I just wanted to say as this is my last video for the year thank you guys honestly so so much for all of the support and all of the love that you give me all the time like you don't understand how much it means to me and how much it warms my heart every time I get a new sub like when I see the numbers go up it literally like I get so gassed or when I get a comment from you guys or when I get like a message like when you guys reach out to me privately like honestly it means the world to me um so I just wanted to take a minute and thank you genuinely authentically um for giving me everything that you have given me this year so thank you so much I love you all so much have a beautiful new year's stay safe stay healthy stay smiling stay positive You've got this. You've you've got this, yeah? You've actually got this. I love you guys and I will see you in the new year. Mwah. Bye guys.